Merry Christmas! Hello everyone, Merry Christmas or Happy Boxing Day or whenever you may be watching this video but today I wanted to do a little spin on the what I got for Christmas. So me and mum will be doing that video coming up, I think like tomorrow or something but I wanted to show you guys what I actually spent my money on this Christmas and kind of what I treated myself to because you know it's good to treat yourself sometimes we work hard so we've got to reward ourselves and I feel like I do a lot of hauls where I show you guys what different stores have in and what I hit and what I misses and stuff like that but I wanted to actually show you what I spent my money on what I maybe picked up in a shopping trip like random bits and bobs that I've collected over the last few weeks or months I don't even know but yeah I'm also wearing a Brussels sprouts headband because you know they are the worst part of Christmas who likes Brussels sprouts they're disgusting anyway I'm gonna go on with this video and just show you guys what I recently picked up and what I got myself for Christmas so I feel like first things first I'm gonna start with the thing to my left or your right I'm not even sure Basically, you will have seen these all over my Instagram and even all over my YouTube. And these are some red scuba style knee highs from Boohoo. Now, these are honestly just amazing. They are so beautiful. They are so Christmassy, but also, like, you could wear them any time of year. I feel like Christmas that makes me love red even more, but I love red anyway. So they're like a sexy Santa vibe, but they also could be reasonably casual if you just paired them with, like, a jumper and jeans they're the sort of thing you can wear in a million different ways you'll never get sick of them they're so beautiful they're currently actually soggy because right now when I'm filming this it's Christmas Eve and my sister went out last night and she wore them and she got them filthy so mum washed them and now they're like sodden but the dye from the boot is literally like going off everywhere I'm a bit worried so I'm like wrapping them in my sister's um, nightgown sorry Anya but your fault for making them filthy so next let's move on to a piece of clothing now you guys will have seen this in my Poland vlogs I'm not gonna be trying on the items just because this is more of like a sit down at casual talk through video but I will include loads of photos of when I'm wearing them so this is just a jumper from Primark. Now this is in a large, so it is quite like oversized, but I kind of love it like that anyway. And it's kind of like perfect Misha colours. It's got a stripe of baby pink, white, and then navy. The fabric and the quality is insane, considering this is Primark, and this would have literally been like, I can't remember, I bought it when I was with Chloe, but I'm pretty sure it was like 10 or 12 pounds. Haven't seen it since, but you know what it's like with Primark. Go in, check out what they have. I don't know, they're gonna have January sales? Is that a thing in Primark? Quite cool if they do, but this is just so cozy, so warm, fashionable yet cozy is my ultimate life dreams. Okay, so we may spot from a lot of my vlogs that I've been wearing a lot of headwear recently. Now I'm gonna have to take off my Brussels sprout to show you guys. But, in Poland, I picked up one of these little caps that have like a pom-pom on them. Now this pom-pom can be taken off, so you could just wear it like a normal grey cap. But I feel like that makes my head look a little bit like strangely shaped. So you just have a little popper on it and you pop it back in. That also means though that you could change the colour, which is brilliant. Because I loved it so, so very much, I got it in this sort of like textured grey. This faux red leather with again the pom-pom then we've also got the camel faux leather yep and I'm pretty sure I got another one as well there's also a black one here it is and then the black faux leather so Misha's kind of feeling these hats I still don't know if I pull them off people like to try and tell me I do but I think they might be lying to me and just being nice um, but they are adorable and they were only, I know I can't, I know you can't get them because I got them in Poland, but they were literally only £12 each. So I will try and link something similar down below, along with all the other items, I will link a similar items if that item is no longer in stock. But just they're so cute and I feel like they're a little bit different to like a beanie because I mean I always wear hats when it's cold and I just love these caps to death. So I bought them in every single shade going. Sticking with headwear, now... 
This, they literally have the exact same thing in Topshop. I picked this up in Poland, but it's a beret that's baby pink and got pearls on it. Now, I still can't decide again if I pull this off. I feel like I look a bit like a someone who's pretending to try and be French. I still don't really know how you wear them either. Like, they're really hard to, like, put on and not not just look like a, like a mince pie or something. Can we see? I look a bit like a mince pie. But, when it is done correctly and your hair's all lush and you've got a sassy outfit on, it's adorable. And I'm trying to branch out with my headwear pieces and I thought this was the perfect pick. So, yes. Kind of bought this little flat pancake but you can also get them on Topshop so I will link it down below. Then more of an accessory piece that I picked up in Poland is this adorable bow. Now I think this bow looks very misty or you can see it's new because I've taken it out of the packet but imagine this on like the collar of a coat or anything like that just how adorable would that look. I wish kind of wish it was a hair clip because that would also make a really cute hair clip, but it's just got one of those like fastenings like a brooch. You could just wear it as a brooch, you can wear it as a collar thing. It's just such a universal piece that you could wear in a plethora of ways, and it's so cute. Like, how adorable. It'd make any outfit look so expensive. I'm gonna put my Brussels sprouts headband back on, because I know you guys are missing it. Only I would find a Brussels sprouts head. Okay, more clothing. Now, this outfit you will have seen, or you may not have seen if you haven't watched my videos before. If you haven't, you should subscribe. Hi, I'm Misha Grimes. Check me out, like this video, everything else. But when I was down in Manchester at the Galaxy Girl meetups, I wore this Christmas jumper and I just thought I had to give it another show because it's so cute. Now, me and my best friend Chloe have matching ones. So hers is black and gold and mine is white and red and it's from Misguided and it says Santa's favourite blonde and hers says Santa's favourite brunette. Now I'm planning on wearing this tomorrow slash today for you for Christmas day because it's a Christmas jumper but it's cute, it's comfy, I mean it's white which isn't too safe but it's just such a perfect piece. It's so adorable and honestly, the jumper itself, like the hoodie, is so nice. Like it's such nice quality and I kind of wish you could like rub this little logo off and then I could continue wearing it, but it'd be a bit weird to wear that in January, wouldn't it? Bit creepy. Pretty sure these are in sale now as well for £12.50, so I will link them down below. Then again, you're watching this video on Christmas, so you may not want a Christmas jumper, but say you wanna get prepared for next year, Get this bad boy. Now, another weird piece that I'm just throwing in there because, well, I thought you guys might want to see. I swear I bought three pom-poms. Okay, we're just gonna have to pretend that there's three of these. So I've got a blue one, a purple one, and a yellow one. Don't know where the yellow one's gone, but um, we'll pretend that it's here. So these were just, again, picked up in Poland. They're just little faux fur, little, what do we even call these? What do I call this? Like a faux fur tassely, I feel like there is a technical name for them, but I just thought they'd look so cute and like spice up a bag. So you're wearing a bag that doesn't necessarily match your coat, you could like put one of these on and then like you can make your outfit match your everything else better. Do you get what I mean? I just thought they're really cute, really sweet, and they'd also make quite good gifts. So if you're seeing people on Boxing Day or say like in early January and you're giving Christmas presents, you could probably pick up some of these and they'd be quite good last minute Christmas presents. Just saying. Next up, let's go to another pair of boots. Now, we all know Misha loves a good knee high, so shock, she had to get some grey knee highs. Now, if you remember my ASOS haul, I hauled a pink pair that looked exactly like this, and they are the exact same boot. They are from ASOS, but they're Raid footwear, R-A-I-D, and these boots are just beautiful. My pink ones, I wore them in London for a whole entire day, literally walking around the whole entire day. My feet didn't even hurt. These I wore to the Trafford Centre the other day, and my feet were dying. So I think they do come up a little bit big, so maybe I need to wear like two pairs of slipper socks, because I'm not sure one pair of slipper socks was enough. But they're still beautiful, and they're the nicest grey knee highs I've seen as such. So yeah. Next, we've got this jazzy number that caused a bit of a stir on my Instagram and YouTube. A lot of people are asking after it. Now, this is, it says Mystery Jane, but I'm pretty sure this was from like Miss Pap, 
I think. Should I check my Instagram? I can't even remember. I wore this at Fort Chloe's 18th birthday in Scotland. If you haven't watched that vlog, then you should. But basically, so many places sell this dress. And I'll include a picture here so you can see what this dress actually looks like. But so many people sell this dress for literally like 70 quid. And it's quite, honestly, just like a see-through over jacket with a belt on it that I decided to wear as a dress because I teamed with a nude bodysuit that I have from Boohoo. This was just a really useful piece to have because it matched perfectly. So this outfit was quite bare and I did have to be like careful. But yeah, this dress is from Miss Pat and I'm pretty sure I paid £35 for it. And I saw other places advertising it for £70 which is just a joke that like multiple people can sell it for such a different price but it's absolutely beautiful if you're looking for a new year's eve dress i think this would be absolutely perfect i think my sister might have her eyes on wearing it but i love it and i can't wait to wear it again back to primark we have this beautiful jumper dress now this was literally seven pounds it's got adorable balloon sleeves it's kind of like a high neck but not too much it's an extra small it's hot pink and it's just like your perfect jumper dress i think this looks so nice if black and we just love jumper dresses at this time of year because generally they're not fitted so we can eat all the food and you can't tell it's amazing it's amazing whoever designed a jumper dress like i love you you're my best friend please can i marry you and it's just such a beautiful fabric and such good quality for primark i'm very impressed next up we have this bad boy now this was actually bought for me for christmas last year from misguided but I wanted to include it because I've seen that they have a very similar one and I've never actually mentioned this dress on my YouTube and I know that a lot of people are asking about it in the vlog and in my photos from Chloe's birthday in London. I teamed this beauty with the red knee highs that I showed you earlier and it's just this really fluttering neckline that I love where it's like a scoop. And I wore this out in London to tape and it's just a beautiful dress. They have a very similar one in stock at the moment. So I will link that down below because I thought, well, I know I didn't buy it for myself for this Christmas, but it's a very Christmas and New Year's Eve appropriate dress. So I just had to share. I just had to let you guys know. Hope you don't mind. Next up, this is what I paired with the white Christmas jumper from Misguided. And this one is from Miss Pap. Now, it's one of those Zara shaped skirts where it's got like all the ruffles. And I love these skirts. Like, I wear them all the time. I know everyone wears them and they're so like overdone. But I don't even care because I love them. So it's fine. We'll just pretend. Pretend it's all good. And this one is a little bit different because it's got a checkered print and it's also got an elasticated waistband whereas my other one has a zip. So yeah, it's probably not as good quality as the Zara ones but I don't really care because it's really cute and it looked really cute in my Christmas jumper. Also, you could wear this at any time of year when it's winter. Like, it, although it's red, it's not like specifically Christmassy. So yeah, such an adorable piece. I think I also got this in the sale for like £17 but I will link it. Bargain, yes. Okay, last but not least, I actually have a piece that Dressed in Lucy sent me over. But if you've seen my Instagram recently, I haven't stopped wearing it, so I kind of just had to show it to you guys because, I mean, I would have bought this with my own money anyway. So it is one of these adorable white, like, puffer jackets, but it's a little bit different. It's got this beautiful big hood, like, oh my gosh, it's the hood of dreams. And I've never had a puffer jacket that's been like a tight fitting one with a belt, but this is exactly that. So it's not like tight, tight fitting, but you see here that it's got like this belt bit. Now, I wouldn't necessarily recommend wearing like 10,000 layers underneath it, because then you do look like you've eaten too many Christmas mince pies, or just mince pies in general. But it does look adorable with the little belt, and I feel like it gives this puffer coat more of like a refined and classy finish, if we know what I mean. Like, am I, am I chatting rubbish? But I'm sure this will be in the January sales. And also, I have a discount code for Dressed in Lucy. So I will pop it on the screen right now because I cannot remember. It might be like Misha Grimes 10 or Misha G10. Who knows? Maybe even 20. I think it might be 20% off. I think it's Misha 20. You can save 20% on this absolutely beautiful coat. Which makes it like £80, which is quite a bargain for a coat. So, yes, I'm in love with this. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little look at what I got myself for Christmas. I do want to add in there that a lot of the hauls that you guys see from me and from majority of people on YouTube, they don't keep the stuff. Like, genuinely, when I do a haul, I keep about 0.2% of the stuff. Because I don't have the money to go out and buy new stuff every single week. But I 
I want to keep bringing you guys exciting new content and show you what is out there. So yeah, this is like actual stuff that I've bought with my own money over the past like few months. So as we can see, I'm not as much of a shopaholic as we think. Like obviously I've still got shopping issues, like who doesn't? But I feel like it makes it seem like I buy a lot more on YouTube because I'm posting much more, but literally it all goes back. So yeah, Merry Christmas, I hope you're having a fabulous day, and I hope you're having a fabulous festive break, and eating everything in sight, because I most certainly will be, and yeah, I hope you are spending it with all your family and loved ones, or just anyone extra special, and if you're not, then I hope you're still having a fabulous time, and yeah, have a joyful day, be merry, be kind, eat lots of food, don't drink too much alcohol, um, or do, who cares, it's Christmas anyway. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this little look at what I've picked up recently and what I got myself for Christmas. There will obviously be a what I got for Christmas coming very soon, as well as Christmas vlogs. Because although I know a lot of people on YouTube don't necessarily vlog their Christmas, I really want to for selfish reasons because when I'm old and grey I can go back and look at what I did for Christmas when I was 18. Like isn't that crazy and that's what I absolutely love about YouTube. So I think that's why I'm very honest and very like personal on my YouTube and I don't hide anything because I'm using this not only to interact with you guys and to share my story and just be crazy but also so when I'm old and grey and withered and living a boring life I can look back and be like wow my life was really cool and I got it all on video and it's all on the internet for me and everyone else to see so yeah on that rather joyful note I hope you have a very merry Christmas and a happy new year I'm pretty sure I'm going to be seeing you majority of the days up until New Year's Day anyway because we've got lots of exciting content to come but yeah I love you guys merry Christmas bye bye